Officially 2022, and this is nothing but kitchen. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Woo! Okay, I've been gone for a minute, and I'm gonna tell you why. I broke my ankle in two places, so I was out of commission on scooters and crutches and all that good stuff. So it took me a while after rehab. But now I got both my hands back, no crutches. I'm still limping a little, but it's all good. But I just wanted to come in and let y'all know of the stuff that I did have that I was not able to make a video on or anything as far as my kitchen gadgets and everything. Okay, you see, I still have the caloric over there because I still got to do a whole chicken in there. But then I want to bring in a new different air fryer for y'all for 2022. Get excited. It's a good one. Then, my, hold up. I'm gonna do the old pan. I'm gonna put that down. Okay. Remember, I was all, what's her name? Aisha Curry. Cookware. It's okay, but her, her cookware sets. Okay, first of all, the handle gets super, super super hot it's just ridiculous like eh. and then the surface of them and mind you i've only had them for let's give or take a year and probably a couple of months so but the surface of it, it doesn't last long it gets it starts getting, you know, you get your sticky and I don't care how much butter oil put in there, them eggs are gonna stick. It's just, it's, it's ridiculous. But for her, this, this is her uh, iron skillet. Now this bad boy is good. I don't know if she took her time on it or what she did, but this is good. I still use this. Then, Oh, let me show you my new sweetheart. This is my new sweetheart right here. This is the crock pot. There, it's called crock pot. You see that? Yeah, yeah, uh-huh. And you know, you can make your stews, uh, just in everything in here. And it allows you to stick it in the oven. I haven't cooked anything that I can stick in the oven, but during my cold days, I have been, instead of my slow cooker, I have been using this. I've made my uh, vegetable soup. I've made the broccoli and cheddar cheese uh, soup. I've made, oh, I made the potato soup. Oh, and I did my chili in this bad boy. Oh, but this thing is amazing. It is so amazing and it is this thing is heavy, <laughs> so it is very good product. Very good, very good, very good, very good right there. Okay, now, oh, and then, you know, the caloric, like I said. Now, my new cookware. <laughs> Do you see this? Okay, this is their wok, but it is the hex, y'all see that? The hex clad. Oh, when I say, huh, this is some good cookware. And I have all of them, basically. I think I have all of them. I'm, I'm most positive I have every single one. And every one comes with a top that will match it. Like, I don't think this is the one for this one. It's for one of those big giant skillets over there. But I have a top that matches every single one, which I love. Even if I don't use it. Sometimes you just want a top that matches your pan, you know? Even if you don't use it. It's just the, I don't know, the process of the set that goes together. But 
they came out with this. This is like a deep fryer pan. I did use this. And I put some chicken in here and it was deep. Ooh, ooh. But I'm telling you. The way they made this with this here at the bottom and stuff. Um, and just like they say in advertise, you can use a bristle scrubber. And I'm telling you, it doesn't damage it. It don't, nothing. It's come, when I clean these, they come back perfect and new and so pretty. But as you can see, they have the little bitty one. Then they got the medium size. This is the one I just used for. Look at this. Actually, I just used this last night. Cause I made um forgot what I made. Oh, I cooked uh chicken fried, the chicken fried steak chicken. Yeah, the chicken fried chicken. And had my gravy, everything all in here, and look at it. You see that? It still look like it's brand new. Look, look at the bottom. Look at the bottom. It's wet. Why is it wet? But look at the bottom. And I'm telling you, I've used this one several times. And this is the one. Yeah, this is the one that has a lid that matches. Is this the right one? No, is that the right one? I'll be digging. No, that's the right one. Oh, that's for over here. You got these lids. There you go. Look at that. Mm-hmm. And it has the little, the little heat spout. I'm telling you, you don't have to worry about no boil over, no spillage out. Perfect. Excellent. I ain't gonna say perfect, because I'm sure there's a little bit of flaws. Like, you know, of course the handles do get a little... Actually, you know what? The handles get hot, but not extreme hot where you like they on fire hot they you know you can feel a little heat but a lot of times i really like when i was cooking yesterday i actually did not feel heat from the handle but i felt maybe because of up here but i mean of course it's probably because of you know all the heat is drawn up here it was it was a little hot here oh i ain't gonna say hot i'm gonna say warm a little warm here this here actually was not hot and because I did not use my little oven mittens at all to handle anything. So, I'm excited about these. I love these. These are amazing. And just let you know, no, they're not my friends. No, they don't sponsor me or anything. These are items that I have researched on and decide to go ahead and buy them and look at this they give you your own little i made some pancakes on here <laughs> i'm telling you and like the heat temperature from because i have a gas stove the heat temperature from these so really it's good that you make sure if you do purchase these make sure you read their little booklet how it explains how like technically I don't have to go up to high heat. A lot of times I just, I'm at medium to low and that's all I need. And everything is perfect. And it's like, I don't worry about all the popping up. Ooh, cause I don't like when grease pops. Like I don't have to worry about any of that stuff. It's amazing. And then of course, you know, when, when you first get them, make sure you do the seasoning on them, which is basically putting a little oil in there, let it cook. You know, let the oil get hot on the surface and stuff, and then boom. So it's like, it's called seasoning your cookware. So trust me, as soon as I got them, I cleaned them, and then I seasoned them and everything. It's amazing. Best thing of 2021 20, was getting, purchasing this cookware. And I still have the Aisha Curry ones, you know, but I let my kids use those because, you know, I'm like, look, you start with the little beginner cookware. Don't touch my good stuff. <laughs> but that is about it for what happened during 2021. Sorry for not downloading and uploading videos to YouTube. Because like I said, 
I broke my ankle, had to get surgery. So I have a plate on one side and I have two screws on the other side. So it was a whole lot of physical, well, I'm still doing physical therapy, but it's a whole lot of physical therapy and rehabilitation and literally teaching myself how to walk again without the scooter, without the crutches, without the boot. And I'm finally in some nice, comfortable Nike tennis shoes that I faithfully wear because those are the only things that are comfortable. I still have like a little swole ankle right now, but I'm working on it and I'm rehabbing myself. But yeah, that was the only slow up. So I apologize for that and I'm getting back on it. I got some nice, good things going on for 2022. Um, and I'm actually going more in depth. So you're going to see also some cleaning processes too. Of cleaning the stove. Because, you know, I have to figure out and learn how to clean this gas stove. Because at the old house, I didn't have a gas stove. I had electric. So it's like a lot of new things that I'm learning. And I'm actually putting them in a video. So y'all can see. And yeah, it deals with even cleaning the tiles on the kitchen floor. I have all of that, so I am excited. I can't wait for y'all to see. So once again, thank you for watching. Please subscribe, follow, and I also have an IG page. It's called Nothing But Kitchen, y'all. I have learned to do like little short reels, so go on there and watch me do something crazy <laughs> but yeah and again always remember i'm not a chef but i do cook any